Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Aimstone channel and as always, let's go ahead and start this video with Bitcoin market. Do not forget to subscribe. So as of the time of this recording, Bitcoin is just a couple dollars shy from $43,000. From technical standpoint, Bitcoin is forming yet another ascending triangle. Yes, in this current ascending triangle, we have a support that has been a resistance in a previous ascending triangle that took place in November. So yes, this is indeed quite bullish, especially when Bitcoin price action approaches the support of this ascending triangle. So yes, guys, continue stacking. Look, right now we are on December 29th, so in two days we're going to have a new year. And the main reason why Bitcoin has been going sideways in the past couple of weeks because as you know we are at the end of the year and people tend to sell their assets at the end of the year for tax purposes. So yes, I think January it will be a totally different story. BTC probably will skyrocket in early January. Look, this chart represents, of course, we have the same Bitcoin price action and now we have 200 week simple moment average. 200 week simple moment average, my humble opinion, is the most important moving average in Bitcoin charts. And right now, 200 weeks simple moment average is slightly below $30,000, while Bitcoin price is around 43k. So technically, we have a big delta. Delta is more than $13,000 and we have not seen such a large delta in a long period of time. So this is definitely a bullish indicator. Let's zoom out a bit because I found some interesting patterns. Let's go back all the way to 2016 and prior to that we had that massive 2014-2015 bear market. Yes, that was a vicious one where Bitcoin literally dropped by almost like 87%, something like that. It dropped from like 1,100 bucks all the way to $200. But as soon as Bitcoin having took place in 2016, Bitcoin was on the verge of breaking out higher. However, a couple of months before Bitcoin having, Bitcoin actually was 35% down from its previous all-time high. And as soon as BTC broke that resistance of 35%, Bitcoin literally skyrocketed. And something similar actually played out after the third Bitcoin having that took place in May 2020. Back then, Bitcoin was at around $9,000 and then once again, we had that vicious bear market where Bitcoin dropped by 85%. But then in uh, mid-2020, Bitcoin recovered, especially after the Bitcoin halving. But Bitcoin was still down by 30% from its previous all-time high that was slightly below $20,000. And as soon as BTC broke that resistance, Bitcoin skyrocketed as well. Uh, look, this time around, we are seeing something similar. So right now, Bitcoin was like $43,000. So technically, we're still down like 35% from its all-time high. However, where Bitcoin is going to be like 50K, we will be down by 30%. As soon as Bitcoin breaks that resistance of $50,000, Bitcoin will skyrocket. So yes, look guys, keep stacking sets because you do not want to miss out when Bitcoin will be like three, four hundred thousand dollars and you're going to say to yourself, hey, what did I do where Bitcoin was at $40,000? Okay guys, moving on, Bitcoin fear good index. Today we agreed, but we are 65, relatively low where we were back yesterday. Yesterday we were at 73 and yesterday bitcoin price was like slightly below 43k right now we are at around 43k but over the midnight this index was updated and so basically the price was more or less the same and the main reason why i think bitcoin fear index today is lower than it was back yesterday because market got tired from side this consolidation market wants to see new high but it is what it is. Look, when Bitcoin dips, this is a great opportunity to stack more sets. Another Bitcoin market sentiment and that, of course, would be Bitcoin Google Trend. Right now, Bitcoin Google Trend is at 17 and only not so long ago, we were at around 25. So yes, we see another dip. Look, prior to 2020, massive bull market, we had these three more or less corrections. So far, we see only two. Look, when the third one will happen, that will be a great indication that the bull market is around the corner. However, I would not go with that as thesis so far because, as we know, Bitcoin's path yaf most likely will be approved in the next couple of days. So when Bitcoin's path yaf will be approved in the next couple of days, I will not be surprised if Bitcoin will double in price. Right now we are 43k. Imagine Bitcoin will be nearly $90,000 in just a matter of days. <laughs> oh man, that would be insane. So yes, guys, continue stacking. 
Okay, guys, let's move on. Just in, Walmart has followed Costco in selling gold bars to retailers. And this is indeed fantastic news because retailers and just general public will have access to real assets, to real precious metals. When will they do to Bitcoin? I think it's going to happen after Bitcoin spot ETF will be approved and this is going to happen in 2024. Yes, I remember when Costco was selling gold, they literally sold out in just minutes. I think we will see something similar in Walmart. Okay, let's move on. Bitcoin price was at $4 back in 2011 when this guy said this. Bitcoin will do to banks what email did to post office or what Netflix did to blockbusters or what iPhone did to digital cameras. Yes, 100% technology improves every single day day and bitcoin is a new monetary technology okay let's move on just in u.s congressman emir is now co-leading the sec stabilizer act so we can fire gary gensler gensler's sec side with wall street not main street well to be quite frankly yes we do not like gary gensler and he is of course very corrupt individual with sec but whenever gary gensler will be replaced with somebody else that person will surely help wall street at first and then main street they do not even help main street they stop main street from investing okay moving on just in bitcoin will open a universe of pensions insurance to bitcoin according to goldman sachs look 100 percent. imagine if you are uh, old 66 or whatever you're receiving pensions and one day you'll be receiving pension in bitcoin of course this is not going to happen but if pension funds would hold some amount of btc that would be very bullish because pension funds a literally huge market pension funds insurance hedge funds you name it moving on countdown 11 days until bitcoin etf approval yes most likely bitcoin spot ETF will be approved by january 10 2024 look man 11 days 10 days look continue stacking because when once again bitcoin spot ETF will be approved I will not be surprised if Bitcoin will double in price. Moving on, SEC's Bitcoin TF update deadline today. Cash creation versus in kind. Let's take a look. As the cryptocurrency community awaiting the potential approval of Bitcoin spot ETF in the United States in January, today marks a significant deadline. The U.S. Security and Exchange Commission said last week that spot Bitcoin TF applicants must file S1 amendment by December 29 which is of course today. The regulator also required them to sign an agreement with authorized participant and sort out cash creation redemption model it favors. The deadline means that today the community will likely find out which spot Bitcoin ETF files out of 14 applications could be in the first wave of potential spot Bitcoin ETF approval, which is largely expected in early January. And of course, as I know, this is going to be cash creation redemption model on unfortunately which means you can only redeem your bitcoin when you bought that etf with cash on the flip side in kind is totally different game it means that if you bought that etf in the first place if you want to sell it you can redeem it with bitcoin which is different but both of those uh models would skyrocket the bitcoin price Okay guys, let's change gear a bit, take a look at some interesting Bitcoin charts. This first chart represents good price in dollars. Yes, as we know, a special oil literally skyrocketed from 2011 and so is everything else because of inflation. However, if you look at the following chart, if you take a look at the goods price in Bitcoin, we see a totally different picture. As you can see, oil and everything else, beef, cars, apparel, drop relatively to Bitcoin. Since 2011, they're probably down by like 99% comparing to Bitcoin. So of course, Bitcoin is a king. Let me remind you guys, if you have your car, if you have, for example, a house, if you have a money in the stock market, you're basically shorting Bitcoin. Because Bitcoin, in my humble opinion, the fastest horse in the race. Moving on, as we know that when Bitcoin literally skyrocketed in the past couple of months, Bitcoin fees increased respectively and so is ethereum fees right now bitcoin average fees around 24 dollars which is quite expensive yes no longer you cannot buy like coffee with bitcoin because it's not uh, practical but on the flip side if you want to send million bucks from one country to another you will have to pay a huge amount of money if you want to use like western union or any other centralized entity but bitcoin 24 dollars to send million bucks that is very tiny 
Okay guys, and lastly, here is the last chart from Plan B. Like clockwork, according to Plan B, he thinks that Bitcoin stock to flow works like clockwork. Well, look, we are at 43k and his average price is around uh, $55,000. We're not so far away. Now we are less than one standard deviation away from the mean, which is quite good. But he actually fucked up with multiple models and actually one of them worked. Of course, he had second model that predicted the BTC would be about $100,000 back in 2021. And of course, he had third model, I think it calls cross asset model that predicted $300,000 back in 2021. So it seems like one of them was correct out of the three. So maybe plan B just got lucky that this stock to flow actually works. But let's see what is going to happen in the future. And lastly, let's take a look at this quick video where Nick Carter, a Castle Island Venture founding partner, explains what he thinks is going to happen in Bitcoin next year. Let's take a look. When you look at how much the market has been anticipating that Bitcoin ETF and how much it's rallied, how much is that already priced in, and how much more can future catalysts like a halving add to the price of Bitcoin into 2024? Yeah, I mean, the market uh, certainly is almost certain at this point that we will be getting an ETF in the coming days. Uh, most uh, analysts think it's likely to come before January 10th. Uh, I think it's likely to come on the 8th. And uh, so the near term price certainly reflects that expectation. Uh, so it may we may even see a new selling event here. Uh, however, over kind of the medium term, the ETF unlocks uh, whole new classes of capital that otherwise wouldn't be able to enter the market that haven't been able to allocate to Bitcoin. So I think you will see structural flows that will be positive for Bitcoin. Uh, the halving I'm probably less constructive on that I think makes a very marginal difference. Uh, you're only seeing a small effect on supply in terms of marginal supply creation. Uh, so the halving is, I would say, less of an exciting development. But the ETF is something we've been anticipating and waiting for for literally 10 years at this point. And uh, so you can see that excitement expressed in the price of Bitcoin in recent months. What about, you mentioned a potential selling event. What would cause investors to either take profits or get out of certain crypto assets at this point? Well, uh, of course, there's tax selling uh, potentially uh, to end the year here. And we've seen the market give up some of those gains in recent days. But uh, just fundamentally, it's about expectations versus uh, catalysts. And the market at this point thoroughly expects the ETF and I think the big rally we've seen uh, from kind of the 20s, low 30s uh, into the sort of mid 40s uh, for Bitcoin, I think that's almost entirely uh, ETF based. Uh, and so, you know, on day of, uh, it might be a bit of a pop, but I think uh, the effect might be muted uh, where I expect to see the, the you know, price developing in the med medium term. That's where I'm excited. That's when I think you see RAAs uh, and other kind of financial uh, entities that previously weren't able to necessarily recommend Bitcoin to their clients uh, get the ability to do that with the ETFs. I think we'll see a marketing rampage from the big ETF sponsors, some of the largest financial institutions in the world. And that's when I think this thing really takes off as we enter and throughout 2024. As he stated that he thinks the Bitcoin spot ETF will be approved on January 8th. On my humble opinion, any date before January 10th, maybe January 8th, maybe January 5th. So we will find out in the next couple of days. And he of course thinks after Bitcoin spot ETF will be approved, Bitcoin will skyrocket. So just imagine where Bitcoin will be by the end of 2024. So I think 2024, maybe even mid 2025 will be very bullish. So I am definitely not selling nothing in the next 18 months. Okay guys, let me know where do you think Bitcoin is going to end up in the end of 2024. Comment below, subscribe and like this video.